Uh, what? Where am I? Ah, Citizen Plus? Citizen Plus? <laughs> hey, welcome back to another episode of... Um, whatchamacallit? Back to the Future? This is episode 4. And... Yes, we are in a ton of trouble right now. Uh, it has been a very long time, actually. So, let's just look around here. I've played a bit of this, I think, before. Bitch, I'm not dead. Hmm. Doesn't look like it's on. That's not very relaxing. Uh, maybe I'll turn the subtitles off, I don't know. Um... Actually, you know what, I'll keep them, because I have a tendency to talk over the conversation. Jen? Hey, Jennifer! I gotta get her attention! Um, alright. Someone's locked up all my stuff! I'll never get that combination on my own. Make sure the McFly boy is prepped for his Citizen Plus treatment by the time I finish with my husband. How is Citizen Brown? I'm afraid it's worse than we imagined. He's gone completely antisocial. Darn. We're using every tool at our disposal to snap him out of it. But I fear that nothing short of a complete personality rebuild will bring our leader back to us. And it's all McFly's fault? Unbelievable, isn't it? One teenage hooligan has brought Hill Valley to the brink of ruin. Ah, well. Let me know when he's ready. I'll be tending to Citizen Brown. I gotta get out of here and rescue Doc. Hey, let me out! Apparently, knocking on doors doesn't make a sound. Uh, is that a projector? That's a camera. Martin? Ah, that, is that you? Who else would it be? Where are you? Back in the garage. What are you doing in the Citizen Plus ward? Edna threw me in here. She can't do that to my son. How can I help? Um, break me out of here? Um... Could you let me talk to Jennifer? Jennifer Parker? Yeah, she's in the room next door. Let's see, that'd be waiting room beta. Got it. You're all patched in, son. Jennifer. Martin, is that you? Where are you? I'm over here, in the camera. Oh, Martin, aren't you in enough trouble already? Trouble? Jen, what are you talking about? You know, with all the drinking and the PTAs. Jennifer, oh, what's wrong with you? You sound strange. I used to be strange, Martin. But thanks to my first Citizen Plus treatment, I'm well on my way to becoming an average, well-adjusted teenager. Citizen Plus? Oh no, Jen, not you too. Yeah. Uh... Why is your door open? Now that I'm finished with my Citizen Plus treatment, I'm free to go whenever I want. I'm just waiting for the nice guard to escort me out. Hey, on your way out, do you think you could help me break out of here? Oh, I couldn't do that, Martin. It's against the rules. Okay, forget breaking out. Could you at least come visit me? It's it's kind of lonely in here. I don't think it's a good idea for us to see each other until you've undergone your first Citizen Plus treatment. Why not? Because your gosh dang hormones are out of control, Martin. Jen, snap out of it. This isn't the real you. I mean, it's kind of like the real, real you, but not like the real you in this timeline. Wow, that's... I know, it sounds crazy. I'd never call you crazy, Martin. You're just sick. 
I should know I used to be sick too, but now I never want to spray paint a Buick or listen to rock music ever again. Fuck you, metal is the best. Hey, do you know what time it is? No. Didn't they give you some kind of digital watch when you were done with all that brainwashing? The Citizen Plus watch? I won't get one of those for another five or six treatments. Rats. How'd you wind up in the Citizen Plus program anyway? My dad signed me up, and it's a good thing too. I was completely out of control. I kinda liked it. Yeah, so did I. Jen, this whole Citizen Plus thing is a scam. Edna's using it to take control of everyone in Hill Valley, including her husband. You know, Citizen Edna told me you were having paranoid delusions, but I had no idea. So, what was your Citizen Plus treatment like anyway? It's... it's... well, that's weird. I don't really remember. Must be a side effect of the treatments. Okay. Could you hang around for a few minutes? It's nice to have someone to talk to. I'll be here until the guard comes for me. Then I'll really have to tell him about how you're hijacking the cameras. Oh, come on. Don't be a narc. I'm not a narc. I'm a good citizen. Uh, so Dad. Bad. How can I help, son? Not that I'm not happy that you're here, but why are you here? I'm looking for your mother. Mom? After you left, she and I had a big old fight, and, well, she went and signed herself up for a full battery of Citizen Plus treatments. Didn't you tell her about Biff? I tried. You know your mother. Once she puts her mind to something, she's a regular force of nature. I figure that if I can just find her, maybe I can talk her out of this foolishness. So, have you found Mom yet? Not yet. You wouldn't believe how many cameras they've got around here. It's nice that you're concerned about Mom, but couldn't you come down here yourself? Oh, I couldn't do that. I'm probably in enough trouble with the authorities already. No, I think it's better for everyone if I stay here in my garage with my televisions and cameras. You got any advice for getting out of here? Keep working on Jennifer. She may be acting strange, but that girl's crazy about you. Dad, those Citizen Plus watches are gonna turn everyone in Hill Valley into robots, starting with Citizen Brown. I always suspected digital watches were evil. It's not the watches, Dad, it's Edna. She's completely lost it. Citizen Edna's crazy? Oh, that's not good. Although, it would explain a lot. Mm. Dad, I know this is a lot to accept, but I've got to rescue Citizen Brown so that we can go back in time and stop him from ever marrying Edna in the first place. You're right, son. That is a lot to accept. So let's forget you ever said it, and just concentrate on getting you out of there. Yeah, maybe that's for the best. Um... Know anything about cracking combination locks? Sorry, son. I'm more of a peeping Tom than a safe cracker. Okay. Could I talk to Jennifer again? Sure thing, son. Jennifer? What is it, Martin? Uh. Come on, Jen. You don't really want a life without rock and roll, do you? Rock and roll? Oh. Just the thought of the pelvis pulsing three chord power ballads you used to play makes me all queasy inside. Blech. Eh. Come on, Jen. You don't really want a life without rock and roll, do okay. you? Ro uh, rock and roll? Oh. Just the thought of the pelvis pulsing three chord power ballads you used to play makes me all queasy inside. Blech. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, forget breaking out. Could you yeah. at least come visit me? It's it's kind of... I don't think okay, it's treatment. Why not? Because you're Uh she's useless then. Don't go yet, Jen. I wouldn't dream of it. It'd be against the rules. Doc. Uh guess this. Hello? 
What? Let me out of here. Sorry, sir, but Citizen Plus patients aren't allowed to exit their waiting rooms until the Citizen Plus treatment chamber has been suitably prepped for their procedure. Hey, could you get me a burger or something? The only food I've had today is a tofu dog. Regrettably, sir, the rigors of the Citizen Plus treatment require you to begin the process with an empty stomach. Why is all my stuff locked in a cage? In order to ensure that Citizen Plus patients don't injure themselves, their belongings are placed in a locked box until the completion of their Citizen Plus treatment. Injure themselves? It's a very intensive process. Some people can't handle it. Can I take a look at my stuff for a second? Why? I, uh, want to make sure my guitar neck isn't getting bent. What? Come on, man. My parents spent a fortune on that thing. Fine. Back away from the door, sir. There. How's the guitar? I guess it's okay. Good. Dick. Okay, now I guess I talk to Dad with his camera. That kind of makes sense. Dad! How can I help, son? I tried to peek over the guard's shoulder to get the combination, but he's too tall. Over his shoulder? Hold on. What? I may have it on tape. Zoom, enhance, zoom, enhance. Ha! What? The camera was high enough to see over his shoulder. Nice work, Dad. The combination is two left, eight right, 18 left, 32 right. All right. Hey, your guitar. I'm sorry, I tried to throw it out. Yeah, the guitar is pretty cool, but this is what I care about. No fair making your dad all misty, son. Uh, what do I do now? Talk to Jennifer with the guitar, I guess. How can I help, son? Could I talk to Jennifer again? Sure thing, son. Jennifer? What is it, Martin? Eh, actually, no. Don't go yet, Jen. Know. I wouldn't dream of it. It would be... Okay. What's my inventory button? Okay. Like this, I, I can't plug my guitar into that. Uh, that's, that was a good idea, maybe. This? Oh, dude. Yeah. Okay, Jen. Here's a little something I think you're gonna like. At least, I hope you still do. Martin? Jennifer! Oh my god, that's in this Oh, Martin! Martin? What are you doing? Breaking game. What's going on here? I have no idea, sir. I was minding my own business when all of a sudden a horrible noise started coming out of that camera. Well, that's not right. Yeah, well, neither is this. No one scrambles my brain, you hear me? No one. I'm Jennifer Parker, rock and roller. Jen? Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Jen, no time for small talk, McFly. We need to get you disguised so we can walk out of here. Calvin Klein underwear? Really? <laughs> there. How do I look? A little short for a stormtrooper, but it'll have to do. Come on! <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Come on, let's go. Okay, Hotshot, what's next? Now we rescue Citizen Brown, get the hell out of here, and get things back to the way they're supposed to be. Whatever, just as long as I get to break some stuff. I've got a lot of pent-up hostility right now, you know? Miss Parker. What the? Yeah! I'm here to escort you to the lobby. 
Your father's waiting for you. Can he wait? I was hoping that this attractive young man could take me on a tour of the facilities. I'm afraid I really must insist, miss. Relax, Jennifer. I've got everything under control. Really? Really. Okay, then. But first... What was that for? For saving me, dummy. Let's go, officer. You know, I'm probably gonna have to write you up for a PDA violation. Don't bite me. What? Rock and roll. Jeez, he looks miserable. I don't know what kind of movies they're showing Doc, but I don't think he's enjoying them. Can't he just like try to fall asleep or something? Can I have some of that? Feels like I haven't eaten in years. No, that's Tannins. He's not allowed to eat it until he's taken his pacification pill. We tried to give it to him an hour ago, but he still hasn't swallowed it. Let me try. I could be pretty persuasive. No. No improvement, Citizen Edna. Shall I? Don't touch that! I need the caffeine. I it reminds me of someone. Do you mind? I'm trying to run a complete personality rebuild on the big man himself here. And? And the last thing I need is your stubby little fingers turning Hill Valley's savior into a drooling rutabaga. Is there a problem over there, citizen? No problem, ma'am. Good. Let's get back to it. Wow, they've really got this door locked up tight. I wonder what sick freak they've got in here. Ah! I should have known. I almost feel sorry for the poor guy. Almost. Hi, Biff. Looks like your intercom's busted. Eh, just as well. It'd probably be just a bunch of swearing and mixed metaphors anyway. You want out of here, big guy? Guess they don't work. Hey, Biff. Guess who your guard is? Peekaboo! The guard says I'm not supposed to give you any food until you swallow your pill. Stop fighting it, darling. You're only hurting yourself. Uh, I like making fun of this. Yeah. Is there an option to kill her? That would be nice. What are you doing in here? Uh, looking for the bathroom? The next scheduled bathroom break isn't for another 158 minutes. Right. No, no. Maybe I could talk to Doc from there. I need to get Ted now to the first. Oh, right. I'm guessing that's like what you're supposed to do. Kind of makes sense. Can I have some of that? No, an hour. Let no. And all right. Hey, get me out of here! Sorry, can't hear you in this thing, but thanks for the duds, though. Don't worry, Emmett. It'll all be over soon. Eh, it's broken. I guess Jen did that so the guard won't be able to call for help. Hmm. Okay, good. Hi, Biff. 
Want out of here, big guy? I, I didn't guess they that. don't work. Um, if Bye, I, Biff. If I exit oh, this, oh. and then look here, what's this? Not too old. Um, oh. Jenny, don't have to look at the hints. All right. Alright, I would have never guessed to, to, to get this somewhere there. Hi, Biff. Come on, Biff, just swallow your pill. Biff spit. <laughs> oh, dude. Can I have some of that? Is no. To an hour. Let me try. No. Uh, I just got him to eat that pill. I guess I need to talk to the main guy. Hey. Shh. Busy. Um. What part of shh busy don't you understand? Uh, the shit busy. Keep away from the equipment, citizen! I'll never get my hands on those controls while he's around. Um... What part of spit? Alright, um... Soda? Don't touch that! Right, I guess I need to talk to Biff some more. Hi, Biff. You want out of here, big guy? Guess they don't work. Bye, Biff. Increase somatic sensory fluids by 17%. I understood nothing. Um. What would I don't know what to do then. Can I have some of that? Hmm. I guess I'll have to look at the hints again. I just did that. Oh, that is horrible. Ah! Hey, is that a public display of affection over there? What? Ah, sorry, it was just a shadow. Stop goofing around and get back to work. Yes, sir. Jeez, what have they been feeding Biff? Horse tranquilizers? Hmm. You, God! Who, me? I, I mean, me? Yes, you! As you can see, that slacker of a technician is sleeping on the job again. Please be a dear and tend to the Citizen Plus control panel, will you? Uh, sure. Okay, Doc, I'm in. Now, how do I get you out of here without turning you into a vegetable? <laughs> Jeez, where's the off button on this thing? Hey, an equalizer. At least, I think it's an equalizer. Uh, they all low. Volume. Finally, a word I can understand. Okay, that moved him a few inches. Maybe I can blast him right out the door. Yes, I know oh. where you're going now. <laughs> Optics. That's who feature one reference. Tactile. Oh, no. uh, sorry.
Gastrosensory? I don't want you to know what that is. <laughs> Olfactory. I think I know what that means. <laughs> what the? Looks like the aroma tanks have clogged themselves again. Oh, thank you. I hadn't noticed that. Come on, make yourself useful. I'm sorry about the delay, dear. This'd go a lot easier if you just gave up this madness about time machines and altering the past. You should concentrate on the future. There is no future for us. You won't think that in a few more hours. Anna, please, think about the consequences of your actions. Me? You're the one threatening the social order of Hill Valley with your creep. Or do I just like slide this up and down? Oh. I guess the speakers won't push him any further until I hook it up to a really big sound. <gasps> oh my god, great idea! So let's go to the microphone over here and blast guitar into it. That's all I needed Where's to hear. Where's Martin? Don't... Don't worry, dear. Ha ha ha. Hey, Doc. Let's get ready to blow this joint. What was that? <laughs> You! What are you doing? Get my friend out of here, you nutcase. Okay, that was a little less dramatic than I had expected. Whoa! Your Honor. What? I can't hear you! You're welcome! Damn you! Slippers! 